Hello, everybody, and we're live. Once again, we have Jonas with us for, from Intrinsic, and today we're here to talk to you about our upcoming trip to Ireland, which we'll be doing <laughs> together. But first of all, Jonas, how are you? <laughs> I'm good, I'm good. Excited right. for next week. <laughs> yes, so am I, so am I. It will be the first, it will be our second trip together, because we also yes. did Berlin at the end of last year. Um, but obviously, yes, this time around will be off to Ireland. And But before we jump to Ireland, um, I just wanted to comment on the fact that normally in these lives, we're regularly joined by Mark. Um, but this time we're not, and we're not for a very great reason, because Mark has finally left Australia. <laughs> and for the first time in, I think, two years, how long has it been? Probably, yes, two years. Two years. He's or two and a half, I think uh, it was around October that he left last. I'm not sure, though. Wow, two and a half so, years. Two and a half years. And it's yes. a special one because you guys will be meeting for the first time. <laughs> yes, I will be meeting him on his European tour. <laughs> exactly, exactly. And it's, it's nice. I mean, I'm, the, these things really happen, I guess, not just in our industry, but in our industry, you know, they, yes, they happen more regularly that people get to work together, people from different parts of the world. And then, you know, two years or two and a half years exactly. later, they managed to meet face to face. Yes, so, I've been working with him for two years now. We talk every day, but we haven't actually met. <laughs> exactly. exactly. It's, this used to happen to me when at the beginning I used to work for schools and agents before Lynn and I took it over. And with the previous owner of the company, uh, I used to communicate online on a daily basis. Exactly. But then we only met face to face when he actually sold the company to us. So, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's, uh, so, I mean, yes, it's not a foreign concept to me, but it's something that I guess for a lot of people can sound a little bit strange. Okay, so before we jump onto Ireland, let's talk a little bit about what Mark will be doing in, in, in Europe. Um, he won't just be visiting you, right? What else? No, no, no. So um, his idea was that after two years of being absent from Europe, um, he's going to visit uh, some of our clients all over, some in Germany, in UK, and obviously, at the end of his stay, he'll be coming over to Malta. Okay, very good. Um, the idea is to, we always push the relationship type of our, uh, the way Intrinsic works. So this is one of those stages to catch up with our clients and see if we can help them with anything and basically catching up to see what happened in the past two years. And hopefully we get back all of us on track. <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. Okay. So, I mean, that's the first important point to make today. If there are any people who are watching this video, either live or maybe even later on, um, once it's posted and shared on our social media platforms, if there is anybody who would like to make contact with, with Mark while he is in Europe, um, they're very welcome to do so. They can send an email. I'll eventually pop um, your email address in the yeah. chat box over here. So if anybody wants to get in touch, I guess it makes more sense for them to get in touch with you and then you pass... Ideally, yes. Um, earlier, he just told me that he'll be off the grid for the next 18 hours. So quite <laughs> exactly. a long time, yes. <laughs> no, no, no. I think it will be best if people contact you exactly. and then, you know, you can put them in touch with Mark so they can set up appointments with him in, in the various parts of Europe that he'll be visiting. But apart from the UK, apart from Germany and apart from Malta, He's also got coming with us to Ireland. Yes, exactly. And let's talk a little bit about that. I mean, this is a project that started off as an idea, um, but it is a, an idea that we are all very excited to develop. It is an idea that we are developing together with MEI in Ireland, exactly. Marketing English in Ireland, which is the organization that promotes um, English language schools in Ireland. And we are organizing a full day of seminars for schools over there. From our side, we will, as schools and agents, be organizing a social media seminar, but I will be talking about that in, in separate social media posts because today it's all about intrinsic. 
So, Jonas, can you tell us a little bit, what will your seminar be about? Okay, so the seminar will be focused on automation. So basically, the ideal system that does all the nitty gritty for you, so you can focus on other more meaningful work, basically. Um, it will be how to let go, because some people do not like that computers can do most of the menial stuff, um, and accepting that a computer can help you. Um, basically, saving you time. Of course. Which is essential nowadays with the fast pace we're living in, the more time you have to focus on building a relationship rather than just having customers and clients, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. focusing more on that. Okay, okay. And the seminar will be attended by a number of schools in Ireland. In fact, we will have two seminars. We will have one face-to-face -face, um, event where we will be talking to people who are based in Dublin. And mm -hmm. then in the afternoon, we, we will have another seminar, which will be virtual. And over there, we will connect with the rest of the Irish schools who are based in, in other parts of Ireland. Um, what's in it for schools? I mean, why should the Irish schools who are going to be, who are members of MEI, attend this seminar or this webinar? What's in it for them? Okay, so um, us as presenters, we will not be pushing what Intrinsic has to offer. It will be more of a wide view of what mm -hmm. the ideal system can do for a school. Um, some people don't realize that some, uh, how much time is wasted on uh, these small details from uh, reaching out to uh, host families or reaching out to agents. Um, it will teach you what a system can do for you and how much time you can save during the day. Okay. And then obviously focus on building your relationship with your host families or your agents having time to look for more clients, explore new markets. Um, basically, as I said earlier, how you can save time with automation. Okay. And I noticed that even in your blog posts, even on your social media, as a company, you focus a lot on this relationship building. Why yeah. is it so important to you? Why is it so important? Or why do you feel that it is so important for schools to build relationships with host families, to build relationships with agents and with students? The way we work as in, at, at Intrinsic, um, we always focus on this relationship. Um, like any other relationship, the harder you work on it, the longer it lasts. Uh, once you don't focus on that relationship and you let it go on its own, you're bound to break up. <laughs> There's no other way to say it, but Yes, if you don't focus on the relationship, if you don't work on it, um, you're bound to lose clients, lose host families. They are bound to go to someone else. So, yes, a relationship is important. It's hard work, but it is essential to have a future relationship and for more clients or customers in the future. And like you said, I mean, it, it takes time. It takes time to work on these relationships. Um, and it's not always, how can I put it? I mean, especially with people who are very, very sales oriented. Yes. Sometimes they don't realize just how important this relationship building is because they don't see the immediate revenue in that. That's true. So... Again, how can, I mean, I know you're not going to be talking about this in the webinar in Ireland, but perhaps we can discuss it a little bit over here today. How can a system like Intrinsic help? I mean, you mentioned earlier that it helps them save time. How will it help them to save time? Let's take, for example, um, accommodation when okay. it comes to host families. Um, probably most of the time is wasted with uh, you calling host families and trying to see if they're available or not. Them calling back once or twice or three times or more, <laughs> checking for, did you get any details on that particular student? Do you have your flight details? Do you know what time they'll be in? Um, 
with an automated system, any data that is entered, the host family can access. So oh, obviously they're restricted to students that are booked to them. So all this time wasted getting on calls and them calling you and said, and you saying, listen, we don't have the details yet. Uh, that can be frustrating for both. So right. you're already avoiding that, avoiding that part of the relationship. Of but course. you can uh, focus more on uh, asking them for feedback, for example. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe in that. I mean, no one can tell you what you, how your product works more than someone who uses it. So exactly, exactly, very true. Pretty true. Okay. And how about in other areas? So right now we spoke a little bit about accommodation. How about, for example, the academic side of things? Because um, obviously it's also important for schools to build relationships with students. How can Intrinsic help them to do that by, you know, having an automated system in terms of classroom management as well? Okay. So the system... Um, we always specify that it runs in real time. So you from the office can know at the exact same time that the teacher does the, the attendance, you know who's in and who's out of class. Okay. Uh, this gives you the opportunity to chase that person straight away. Um, let's say a student woke up sick, but he hadn't, hadn't had time to call you yet. Okay. But if you chase that student, um, like 15 minutes in and he's still not in class, you can call straight away and follow up. Okay. So to a student, maybe that won't mean much, but to a student, they would appreciate, say, listen, they do care about us. Of We're course. not just a number. Of course. So it gives the school the opportunity to um, be on the go instead mm -hmm. of having to wait by at the end of the day when you go through the registrar and see okay so this student was missing how come mm -hmm. you are calling them straight away and following it up if they need a doctor if they need medication i see that's how to me that's how you build a relationship that lasts with the student mm -hmm. it might be that extra thing that encourages them to come over on their next holiday again Exactly. In fact, I was going to mention parents. It's, yes, it's the same with parents. I mean, when we're talking about, let's say, the younger students, uh, obviously their parents would, I guess, very much appreciate somebody, you know, we always have schools who use taglines like it's a home away from home exactly. or, you know, we are your second family. Something like this, I guess, proves that they are. And sometimes... Like you're saying, I mean, we're so inundated with everything that's going on. Uh, paperwork, forms to fill in, yeah, phone similar. ringing, emails in our inbox, that then we tend to ignore these little special details exactly. that that make our school... It all goes back to saving time. I mean, mm -hmm, I'm not saying exactly. that a student is not important, but you have a huge workload, and sometimes you get lost in that workload and you don't have time to chase up on... Uh, your students or your clients. So exactly. saving that time and focusing on a particular person can help bring that person back in the future. Exactly, exactly. I guess it all boils down to perhaps highlighting the, the humanity yes. in all of it. Okay, and how about agents? I mean, how can the system help schools to build relationships with agents by saving time in that department as exactly. well. So a part and a, an ideal system can have a login as well for agents. So uh, agents can send their details over or book the student in. And basically it's automated. Sometimes if they send an email, it can go to either to junk mail or okay. get lost in the amount of emails you get daily because admissions, I think, are the worst kind of the most emails they get yeah. so um, yes. so yes it basically helps you to keep track of each and every booking an agent is sending you uh, and you don't miss out you avoid frustration um, and the agent is happy you are happy because the bookings are coming in and you're saving time yourself but it's also a way for agents to feel secure that each and every booking they're sending you will be accounted for. 
Exactly, exactly. Okay. And obviously, I mean, we won't go into that today because we also go into a lot of different other details in our lives, in our articles. So the people who are watching us here today have all the opportunities in the world to be able to read about or hear about, you know, all the different services that you offer. But let's go back and let's conclude with Ireland. So Ireland is coming up next week. Yes. Do you want to tell us the dates will be there, the itinerary that we'll be following? Okay, the rushed itinerary because we'll be <laughs> it will be a race against time. <laughs> exactly. So we'll be... I used to do this quite a lot at the beginning of my years in international education. Okay. I used to go to a place, <laughs> attend a conference, like. 36 hours in and out, you know, from airport to airport. And people used to tell me, oh, you know, your job is so nice. You get to see so many places. And I used to say, no, I see airports and I see hotel <laughs> exactly. rooms. And that's it. <laughs> so this is going to be another taste of that. <laughs> exactly. So we'll be uh, leaving on the 11th. And we'll be meeting Mark there, I guess, uh, in the evening. We get there quite late. I think it's We do. Yes, PM. we do. Yeah, so it's probably a dinner, straight to bed, and then it's a full day of seminars. <laughs> yeah, but... Exactly, on Tuesday. But then on Wednesday, we are going to have time for some one-to-one -one meetings yes. with, with schools, I guess, either schools who are based in Dublin and who want to show us their you know their premises who want exactly. to discuss obviously those meetings will be set up individually so people who want to talk to intrinsic about the services that they offer can set up meetings with intrinsic in our case it'll be the same um but it's good to mention that we will have time for one-to-one -one meetings with either mm -hmm. people who are based in dublin so we can come to your premises, we can see your schools and we can talk with you face to face. I think that's a great opportunity. Uh, or for those people who are not based in Dublin, we will still have the time because Wednesday, I guess we're there for the first part of the, until lunchtime, more until or less, lunchtime, then yes. we'll have to head back to the airport. So any time in the morning until lunchtime, if you're based in Dublin and you want to have a chat with either one of us, feel free to get in touch to, to set up those meetings. If you're not based in Dublin, but you still want to have those chats with us, we can either set up Zoom calls with you on Wednesday morning, or we can do that in the following days exactly. once we are back home um, to follow up on the things we would have discussed in our seminar. So I guess I'll see you next at the airport. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Good, good. I'm very much looking forward to that. I think Me it's going to be a whirlwind adventure. <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> but that's, that's great. Very well. So, Jonas, thank you very much for being here with us today. Thank, and thank you for you having for me. The, for the insight um, on your seminars. Uh, for those watching, I've left Jonas's contact information, Jonas's email address in the chat box over here. If you would like to set any appointments with Mark while he is in Europe, feel free to send a message to Jonas, who will then pass it on to Mark, um, who will probably be able to check it at some point or other while he's at probably, the airport. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or probably after he lands after his 18-hour trip. Exactly. Other than that, thank you all for being here with us today. And um, I look forward to having you on our broadcast again in the near future. Same here. Take care, everybody. <laughs>